Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In this video, we're gonna cover some pretty simple methods on how to highlight documents. A lot of times when you're at trial or uh, before trial or in general, you're asked to highlight uh, parts of a document. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in both Photoshop and PowerPoint if you're kind of in a pinch. Uh, Photoshop's the ideal way to do it because it looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, it takes a little bit more time, but um, either way it kind of works to get the job done. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up a document. I already have up here some non-confidential documents. Uh, so let's take, let's take this one for example. If I just right click open with Photoshop or you can open it in Photoshop however you want, you're going to get it in, in here. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is um, find out what mode you're in. So if you go up to mode and you're in bitmap, you need to get it to RGB color. So sometimes you run into this, sometimes you don't. But if you do, you kind of you need to convert it to grayscale and click OK and then actually go back image mode and then convert it to RGB color. I don't know why you have to do that, but uh, that's what you got to do sometimes. So now you are ready to go. If your color is not on the yellow that you want, or if it's on a different color altogether, I want you to set it at whatever yellow you think looks the most like a highlighter. And I've already done this, uh, so I'm going to click OK. And then it's just a matter of going to your rectangle tool over here on the left and click that and highlight whichever portion that you want to highlight. And you can either do the whole paragraph, if you just wanted to kind of go quick and not get too tedious, I'm going to control Z out of that. Um, and if you wanted to be more specific, you could highlight the first line and maybe the second part of that ending on the end of the sentence. Now, you notice it created these rectangles on the right hand layer side. What you want to do at this point is either one by one or by selecting all of your highlighted items. Uh, you can shift click to multiple select and then just go to this little section here which is kind of your overlay and we're going to drop down to multiply and when you multiply it just magically uh, shows everything that you need in the way that you need it. Um, so you could leave it like this or if you really needed to, you could crop it down from there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's essentially how you highlight. Save it as a JPEG and either throw it in Trial Director or put it in a PowerPoint, whatever you need to do from here. And if you... Now I'm going to close out of that. The other way to do it in PowerPoint, if you're in a pinch or if you don't have Photoshop, I'm going to actually go into... Um, my PowerPoint and I'm just going to drag the same image into PowerPoint and you'll see it here. Now the problem is with PowerPoint we don't have that multiply feature so it's not going to look as good. What we're going to want to do is click on our home tab and up here you will see you have some shapes that you can choose from. Select the rectangle similar to Photoshop and we're going to actually do the same thing. We're going to create a little box here and we're going to click here and create another box. Now you'll notice that it's not looking right um, as of now. We're going to click on one of these boxes and right click, go to format shape. And the first thing that we're going to do is we do, uh, we want to make sure that it's yellow. All right, now you see it's still got the blue outline, so we're going to click this no line. And we're going to do the same thing to this next box. We're going to go no line and we're going to change it to yellow. All right, now we're starting to get somewhere. Now the only other option that you can do in PowerPoint is start setting the transparency so you can see what's behind it. Now again, this doesn't look as good as it did in PowerPoint, but if we're in a pinch, so what do we go, 72%? We'll do the same thing here, 72 if we're in a pinch, that's our option. So those are two ways that you can highlight a document pretty easily and pretty quickly by using Photoshop or PowerPoint. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching.